My advice for this is to believe in yourself. Believe that you can make a difference. Believe that you're capable of more than you probably think you are. Perfect, perfect. We need the community to understand that corrections has changed. Uh, the main model of corrections really is all about a non-adversarial approach to identifying what brought people to corrections and helping them, assisting them in their treatment, in their recovery. The people that are going to have the most influence on these residents' lives are our line correctional officers. The coaching and humanistic model helps create a better culture in the workplace where people feel more satisfied about the jobs that they're doing. The work we do can make a very positive impact and CEOs play a huge role in that. The basic correctional training program is the initial foundational training Welcome everybody. to help officers to come into the work and be prepared to go into our correctional facilities and to be successful. It looks overwhelming, but I'm sure we'll get through it relatively uh, at ease. The BCTP is overseen by the main Criminal Justice Academy at regional training sites throughout the state. It's in a hybrid format. I love training. I love seeing people grow. I love seeing people develop and reach their, their potential. I was pretty stressed out when I first walked in. I felt very nervous. Very anxious. Check in with the residents. Really trying to teach the correctional officers to approach the work from really humanistic and restorative practices kind of approach. So go ahead and break into your groups and discuss that. Work. It's a scenario based adult learning theory where people have the information, then they're able to actually to go into a facility and practice those skills. We're getting ready to head in, we're going to do some searches. And you wear a lot of hats and corrections. It's understanding these concepts, understanding the importance of safety and security. This officer did a little bit of investigative work and he was able to find contraband. So. Understanding medical, mental health. This is only a small snippet of what you're going to be learning. And if you can be patient and you can wait it out, then everything will come to you. It's very beneficial because we can actually apply what we're learning in the coursework to what we do on a daily basis. Trying to make the training more experiential, more engaging. Give the command still. Let go, let go, you're stepping in. They're going to be given Here, techniques if, if they are in a situation where they need to defend themselves uh, to be able to successfully do that. Get back! I mean, definitely things were a little rough, especially when I don't have any like actual physical like experience. So learning stuff like that, you can get very frustrated, but all of our instructors were like, great, they're a patient for you. When we're going to get up, there you go, good job. Our mission is the safety and security of the facility, staff, residents. Doing the hands-on stuff like Merck and the cell extractions and everything, I think that helps seeing it firsthand and being able to put your hands on it. They're going to be doing this every day when they get online. I just tried to respect their belongings. The last thing I want to do is trash their space, trash their belongings, because that's the last thing I would want some, something done to mine. Simply treating others the way you want to be treated. Respect and dignity is key to the main model of corrections success. The officers are being taught that this is the way we want security achieved. By preventing incidents, developing relationships with the residents that are supportive. I think it takes a strong person, somebody that can understand what the residents go through. It allows everyone to do their job and be more cohesive all the way around. Now we're doing our PT test today. Mile and a half run, time sit-ups, time push-ups. Everyone has different levels of fitness. Do what you can do. Come on, keep going. Almost home. They spend five and a half weeks with each other, day in and day out. Did a lot better than last time. And big yeah. This is the final, and there was hope for improvement. And it appears that all improved. Outstanding, outstanding, outstanding. It's been pretty unique because we've actually become like a brother and sisterhood. See each other through the good times, the bad times. You're talking to each other all day. You get pretty tight. It's great to like actually have a group of people that you trust and that you can go to with things that you might not be sure about otherwise. You become a team. You work together and you become one unit. You are ready for the final exam. The morning of the graduation, they do their tests. They find out if they've passed and then it's the excitement. Everyone here really took the time to make sure that we understood and comprehended what we were learning. People that I've been working with have been extremely helpful. We help you to get to the point that you need to be in order to be successful. William Matea. Seeing them from day one when they were all nervous, watching them progress day by day by day. Shanice Cleveland. Find that confidence in themselves, find that excitement in the job that they're about to do. 
and, and watch them cross that stage and get that certificate is, is very rewarding to me. It is very achievable. We have people from all walks of life successfully completing training and having successful careers in this work. And if anybody really wants to make a difference in people's lives, make our community safer and be involved in the criminal justice process in a meaningful way, come to the Maine Department of Corrections. It has been a huge eye-opener, the way they do corrections here in the state of Maine. Every day is going to be a challenge, but it's worth it in the end. You can really have a career here, and a really exciting career that will be transformational, I think, in the entire nation. Congratulations. We just finally graduated after five and a half long week course. Very excited to start my career. The work feels good. In Maine, being a correctional officer feels good. You make an impact on one individual that changes the course of their life, then you've done enough. There is hope, there is opportunity, and it is absolutely worth it in the long run.